need to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. Pray for me. You ain't got to go around right here worrying about me. Just pray for me. Don't worry about this church. Just pray for me. Pray for the church. Don't worry about the church. Pray for the church. He hears and has a prayer. What I love most about him, not only will he hear and answer prayer, but he can turn around and then answer it before he hears it. He can turn it around. He can answer and then hear prayer. It's already answered. You ask him and it's already answered. He done already heard you. That's what he said. He said, I can answer your prayer while you yet ask. Already be asked. Yeah? We don't pray the right kind of prayer sometimes. Yeah. Still a big in God. Thank you. Because it's already been done. Thank you. That's all right. That's the way Jesus did. He hadn't even called that. He just stood at the grave and said, Father, I thank you. That you heard. It. Hadn't even called him. Just standing there. Hadn't even called him. Just said, said, roll the stone away. When they roll the stone away, he said, Father, thank you. Then he thought about it and said, maybe I ought to call him. Loud. Yeah? Huh? 5,000 miles to be filled. Five biscuits. Two little sardines. Yeah. He stood there with that and said, thank you. <laughs> No, sir. Know too much about it. Never can make me die. I know too much about it. Huh? I know too much about it. Huh? So, Lawson, you going back on the road. Just get on there and say thank you. It's going to be all right. Be all right. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. A new commandment I give you: love one another. Thirteenth chapter of the Gospel according to John. Verses 31 through 38, we have our words that we should meditate upon today. This is right after Judas left the upper room. See, some things don't happen until some folk leave. The Bible said so. Some things don't happen until certain folk leave. Mm -hmm. Judas was a traitor. Yeah. And he was gone to betray the Lord. Yes. And all this happened after he left. Mm -hmm. After Judas left. Yes. Then Jesus said, Now the Son of Man's glory is revealed. Mm -hmm. How God's glory is going to be revealed through his Son. Yes. And that's strange when you're talking about you getting ready to go to Calvary and talk, calling that glory. Yeah. You know, going to have your hand nailed to a tree yeah. and calling that glory. Going to have your feet spiked yeah. to a tree and you're going to say, now nah, I'm 
getting ready to get glorified. Spear coming for your side, and yet you're saying, I'm going to be glorified. Head going to be crowned with 72 thorns, and yet he's still saying, now the glory is coming out. You see, the glory has to come out of something. And this Calvary experience is what the glory is going to come out of. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, you're not going to get the glory. The old folk used to say, no cross. No cross. You ain't going to get no glory if you don't carry your cross. Yeah? You don't go by Calvary. You can't come out of the tomb. You got to go by Calvary first. And go through the tomb. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Go through the darkness. Yeah. People even said he went to hell while it was going on. Yeah. Made a trip to hell. Yeah. Deal with the prisoners. Yeah. In hell. Yeah. yeah. He took a trip there while he was gone. Yeah. But then on the other side, other side. there's something else. Yes. The glory yeah. of God yes. is revealed. Boy is revealed through the Son of God. Yes. And then God himself yes. sent his Son. Mm -hmm. And his Son yes. in turn sent some folk. Yes. And in his sending some folk, yes. they're developed an organization, some call it organization. Yes. It's an organism. Yes. It's a body uh -huh. called the church. Yes. You may not know this, but there's something in the church yes. that's glorious. Yes. Something in the church that will lift you yes. when you're down. Yes. Something in the church yes. that will bring you some comfort yes. when you're all by yourself. Yes. Huh? Yes. You ever just been to where you were by yourself? Yes. Lonely. Yes. Didn't have anybody to talk with. I know you. Didn't have anything to do, yeah. but all of a sudden, yeah. you remember mm -hmm. the church. Yeah. Remember something yeah. that happened. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Only time in my life I can recall being in the hospital on a Sunday. Yeah. When that 11 o'clock hour came, yeah. I began to think so and so. Yeah. He's leading the hymn by me. Yeah. I think old so and so praying by me. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Looks like I, I don't got choir singing now. Yeah. This is going on. Yeah. That is going on. Yeah. Because we know yeah. what the fellowship is. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Pray for me. That's a yeah. bomb of fellowship. Yeah. We used to have a member in Los Angeles who worked at the county hospital as a nurse. Yeah. And some Sunday she couldn't come yeah. to our services. But one Sunday morning she said, you know, I looked at my wife yeah. yesterday. Yeah. I mean last Sunday yeah. when I was on the job. Yeah. He said, and when I looked at my wife and saw what time it was. Yeah. The pastor has already said, Lord God. Yeah. And somebody over there said, he sure has. Yeah. <laughs> he sure has said yeah. by this time. Yeah. We thank God, thank God for what Jesus is talking about. Yeah. The glory he's talking about. Yeah. And he calls them children. Mm -hmm. And that reminds us yes. that we are children. Yeah. Oh, we are all children. In the Lord, yeah. ain't none of us grown. Yeah. In the Lord, we're still children. Yeah. And he looked at him and said, my children, yeah. I'm not going to be with you That's what he said. much longer. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was closer than they thought it was. Yeah. Because this was that Thursday night. Mm -hmm. And they were going to crucify him the next morning. Yeah. And he said, I'm not going to be with you much long. Yeah. He didn't want to just slap him in the face with it. Yeah. He kind of eased it to him yeah. and said, I'm not going to be with you much long. Uh -huh. And then you're going to look for me. Yeah. 
but you're not going to be able to yeah. come where I'm going. Yes, sir. And I want you to remember yeah. this night. Come yeah. on. And that's exactly what we do. Yeah. In the church across the center. Yeah. Every month or every whatever period the church has chosen. Yeah. They stop and remember that night. Yeah. That last night. Yeah. That last supper. Yeah. That they had with him. Uh -huh. But what I came to tell you today. Yeah. Is that he said to them a new commandment. Yeah. I give you. Now, this is nothing new yeah. to talk about love. Mm -hmm. You know, the commandments say, yeah. love the Lord with all your heart and yeah. so forth, and love your neighbor as yourself. But why is he calling it new? Yeah. He's calling it new because I'm giving it to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not to somebody else, That's yeah. but to you. Yeah. This is not a general commandment. Yes. This is not something for everybody, yes. but it's for you. Mm -hmm. See, we have to understand that we are the people of God, yes. and that this commandment that we're dealing with here this morning yes. is for us, yes. is for the church, yes. is for the disciples yes. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. A new commandment I give you. Yes. And then tells them what his commandment is. Mm. He said, love yeah. one yeah. and another. Yes. Now, you know, we like to be broad in that, yes. sweeping in our love. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I love everybody. Yeah. You don't have to do all that. Huh? Yeah. The Bible never says you have to do all that. You don't have to do all that. Hmm? Yeah. We don't have to do all that. You don't yeah. have to love everybody. Yeah. What we have to learn to do well, is to love each other. Yeah. Oh, it's easy to holler you love everybody. Yeah. But when it broke down to somebody, come on now. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Oh, huh? Yeah. All right. There's nobody walk on the face of earth that loves everybody. First place, you don't know everybody. Yeah. You haven't even met everybody. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right. But it's easy for me to say that. Yeah. yeah. When I don't love Grand Ross. Yeah. Fix it up, Doc. Y'all like this. All right. Huh? Yeah. It's easy for me to say I love everybody. Yeah. yeah. But I don't love with him. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fix it up, Doc. Huh? No, yeah. Or even love Rosalie Bryant. Yeah. That's the woman I'm married to. Come on. When I'm running around here talking about I love everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Fix it up, Doc. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I see. And hate to go home. Yeah. 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 And they hate to hear me coming. <laughs> Want me to come home, but I know my love everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Glad to see me leave. Yeah. But he said, Love yeah. one and nothing. Yeah. We, as the people of God, yeah. must love yeah. one and nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Then he goes on into this other thing. Yeah. He goes on into this. Well. He says, Let me use the King James on that. Yeah. By this. By by this shall all men know that you are my new son. Yes, right. By this. By this. Those boys start looking around there all right. to see what it was. Yes. You know. Yeah. Maybe Jesus is going to hand out some badges. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all don't understand. Yeah. Maybe he's going to give out some badges. Yeah. And on the badges, he said, disciples. Yeah. 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 Or maybe he was gonna give out aprons. We don't know. Yeah. All right. Might have been gonna hand out some aprons. Yeah. Give some fedoras. All right. Yeah. 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 You don't know what he's gonna give him. What he said, buy yeah. this. Yeah. Might have been ready to issue uniform. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said, buy this. Buy this. 
shall all men know. Yeah. Not just you. Yeah. Huh? That's right. But all people, uh -huh. everybody will know. Yeah. That you are my disciple. Yeah. Them fellas got to get ready. Yeah. For that which the Lord would give them. Uh -huh. So that they would be recognized. Yeah. I know somebody yeah. was sitting there. Yeah. Looking for a certain kind. Yeah. Of bad. Yeah. Of his fidelity. Yeah. To his law. Come on. Huh? Yeah. They must have thought when I was a boy coming up that it meant wearing black suits. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. And I was a young preacher, Sister Patterson. <laughs> Preachers wore black suits. Yeah. And tall crown hats. Yeah. Oh, huh? Yeah. And I thought that's what a preacher was. Yeah. I saw somebody. Yeah. With a black suit, tall yeah. hat on, yeah. and a starred white shirt. Yeah. Right. And if he took his shirt off, it would stand up next to him. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I'm Yeah. yeah. Huh? I knew that was a preacher. Yeah. Didn't have to ask nobody what a preacher. Yeah. Nobody even know him. They'd see him say, Reverend so and so. Yeah. Don't even know him. Yeah. Because we thought yeah. that it was by yeah. the way he dressed yeah. that he was known yeah. as the messenger of God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, we knew who an amen sister was. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Right. Look the length of woman's right. dress and tell yeah. she's amen. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Y'all don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, can, <laughs> you can look at her dress and tell she's amen, sister. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. God. Yeah. You didn't even know what their shoes looked like. Yeah. Because we thought yeah. that the way we were dressed yeah. was the way people would know yeah. who we were. Uh -huh. That we were the followers of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Some folk believe even today. Yeah. That is the way we were. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Some churches. Yeah. Do not even allow their members to wear makeup. Yeah. Because they think by your plain faith, yeah. you will be known yeah. as a child of God. Come on. Huh? Yeah. Some of them have to wear certain color stockings. Yeah. Y'all don't know these churches. But that. some churches, they, <laughs> you have to wear certain color stockings. Yeah. Can't wear any color stocking in the church. Yeah. Because we feel yeah. that it is by the yeah. color of your home yeah. that we know yeah. that you are a disciple uh -huh. of Jesus Christ. Yeah. We have so many other ways we have yeah. of knowing yeah. Huh? Yeah. that we are the yeah. disciples yeah. of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Look like I can see all those disciples yeah. getting ready to receive the badge of recognition. Yeah. Jesus said, buy this. Buy Somebody must have thought he was coming out of something out of his pocket. Yeah. And he said, buy this. Yes. Shall all men know yeah. that you are yeah. my disciple. Yeah. Somebody finally said, buy what, Lord? Yeah. You haven't shown us anything yet. Yeah. We don't see anything. Yeah. Uh, what you talking about? Yeah. He said, I thought maybe you had seen it by now. Yeah. Because what I'm talking about yeah. is that they know that you are my disciple yeah. because yeah. you have love yeah. one for another. Yeah. You understand love binds yeah. people together. Yeah. When you got love between you, yeah. somebody ought to know you can to each other. Yeah. Whether your blood can. Yeah. Or whether you're not blood. Yeah. That's not the point. Uh -huh. Point is everybody. Yeah. Where love abides, they kill each other. Yeah. Love is a bond uh -huh. that ties people together. Yeah. And it's a strong tie. Yes. It's stronger than death. Uh -huh. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. Say love is stronger. Yeah. Than death itself. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You don't stop loving somebody. Yeah. Because he died. Uh -huh. yeah. Love goes beyond yeah. 
the grave. Yes. Huh? Yes. Sometimes the love gets just a little deeper yes. and a little more painful yes. when the person is gone. Yes. You don't love somebody because you're looking at them, yes. but you love whether you see them yes. or you do not see them. Yes. You love anyway yes. because love is a bond yes. that ties people together. Yes. Oh, I'm going home finish. Dr. John Fawcett, a great preacher back in the 18th century, had been called from a small congregation in a little village to a great metropolitan temple. And while he was preparing to go, while they were loading his furniture, his membership, Yes. came and stood out in the yard of the cross yes. and watched them yes. load his face yes. while they were standing there silently yes. watching his furniture get loaded. Yes. His furniture was finally loaded yes. and he came out mm -hmm. in order to say goodbye yes. to the congregation that he had served. Come on. But somewhere along the line, Yes. While he was serving them, yes. something came between Fawcett yes. and that little group of people yes. in that little village. Yes. And when they stood there with tears in their eyes, yes. and he stood on the porch, yes. he just looked at them, yes. and the tears were streaming down. Yes. And then he realized something he hadn't thought about. Yes. It was tears running down his face. Yes. And he didn't understand that. Yeah. He'd been called to a great church, yeah. getting ready to be promoted uh -huh. to greater responsibility. Yeah. But he felt something running down his face. Yeah. And he turned around and said to the movers, yeah. who had already loaded the wagon with his furniture, yeah. I want you to put the furniture back in the house. Yeah. They said, what? Uh -huh. He said, I want it back in the house. Yeah. I'm not moving. He yeah. said, but you called for us to move. I said, I don't know all that, yeah. but I'm not moving. Yeah. And I want you to put my furniture back in the house. Yeah. While they were busy unloading yeah. the furniture that they had all ready loaded, yeah. Fawcett sat down yeah. and took a pen yeah. and a piece of paper, yeah. wrote the immortal words that we have learned to sing. Yeah. Blessed be the tie that binds yeah. our hearts yeah. in Christian love, yeah. fellowship yeah. of kindred mind yeah. is like to that above. Yeah. I came by this morning to tell yeah. you that the fellowship yeah. of kindred mind yeah. is the same fellowship yeah. that exists among those above. Yeah. I thank God yeah. for the love yeah. Oh, yeah, of the children of God. Yeah. When you know you are loved, yeah. it strengthens you on your way. Yeah. When you know somebody yeah. is loving you, it helps you to go another mile. Yeah. When you know somebody yeah. is loving you, yeah. it eases some of your pain yeah. uh, that come into your body. Yeah. When you know somebody yeah. is loving you, uh, it'll help you hold up uh, when the load gets heavy. Yeah. Oh, thank you this morning uh, for the love of God. Yeah. Uh, that flows from heart to heart, and that love yeah. began with him and was spread through the apostles, and it's come to us now. We have learned how to love one another, and if you have a little trouble with your loving, I tell you what you do: just get yourself out of the way and let him love through you.
something to you. Love 